Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Qala al-Nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, inna afdalakum man ta'allam al-Qur'an wa'allamah. Indeed, the best among you is the one who learns and teaches Qur'an. In today's lesson, we will learn about the last rule of Noon Sakin and Tanween, which is called Ikhfa. Ikhfa means to hide. We have already studied the three rules of Noon Sakin and Tanween, which is Idgham, that means to merge, Idhar, that means to express, and Iqlab, that means to return. So we have already learned that there are six letters of Idgham, six letters of Idhar, and one letter of Iqlab, so 13 letters. The rest of the 15 letters will be Ikhfa. That means if we memorize these 30 letters, you know, like in a, in a proper way, it will be much easier for us to use uh, the, the rule of Ikhfa. All right. So the letters are, as we can see here, how to recite them. As we know in Idgham, we merge Nun Sakin and Tanween. Here we do not merge, and here we turn Ba into Mim. Whereas here we have to hide the sound of Noon Sakin or Tanween behind these 15 letters. It's basically called soft Ghunna, soft nasal sound. It will be a nasal sound, but not 100%, not as much as we do in Ghunna. It will be, let's say, 70 to 80 percent of Ghunna. Okay, let's see. We will not recite it as Anzalna. If we recite it Anzalna, it will be Idhar. No, we don't have to. It will be recited as Anzalna. Anzalna. So we have to hide the sound of Noon behind these letters. Here we have to hide the sound of Tanween behind Qaf. So it will be Kutubun Qayyimah Kutubun Qayyimah As we can see, Qaf is a heavy letter. So the Ghunna will also be heavy. The Ikhfa will be also heavy. Here, Kaf is a light letter. So the Ikhfa will be light. Rasulin Kareem Rasulin Kareem here, Noon Sakin, and we have Dal, so one of the letters here, Dal, so we will do Ikhfa. Here, we have Seen, as we can see here. Before that, we have Noon Sakin, so it will be Tasa. Also, you can see here, when we stop here, we don't prolong it. It's Ainda. We will not say Ainda. No, we need to be careful. Whereas here, standing Fatha means two seconds, so it will be prolonged for two seconds. So, Tasa. Here, again, Sad, and we have also Noon Sakin, so before it, so it will be Fasab. Fasab. Ata. Ata. Layla ta thumma. Layla ta thumma. Again, noon sakin, and we have sheen, so we will hide it, so it will be. Mea sharri. Mea sharri. And the last one. Quwwat al-du'fa. Maybe we haven't covered all the letters here, but we know the rule here. So again, the summary, Noon Sakin and Tanween, when we have these letters and we have Noon Sakin and Tanween before it, we have to hide the sound of Noon Sakin or Tanween, so it will be a soft nasal sound. All right. Now, we have learned almost almost all of the rules of Tajweed, not all of them, but almost all of them. So now if we can, or if you can, buy a Qur'an that is called color-coded Qur'an, 
or if you can download it, it download it from the App Store. All right. So you can go there and you can type color coded Quran, or you can also type there Tajweed Quran. So you'll find a Quran that has different colors for the different rules. So they will show you like Idgham is let's say blue color and Idhar is let's say green color. So even from the colors, it will help you a lot to recite the Quran in the beginning. And inshallah, once you practice a lot, then it will become easier for us to recite. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.